So I'm standing at the really lovely Bauman Farm and Gardens. I'm here with Brian, and we are gonna be talking today about squash, because Brian, there's a lot of different varieties available, and there's, there's right. things to know about them, so well, let's just jump right in. It's confusing. People come in and they don't know what they are, what to do with them. Yeah. Um, so let's, let's work on that. Okay. So I put together kind of a sampling of a whole bunch of different types of squash here. Um, acorn is probably the most common. This is what most people um, will go to because they know what it is. Sure. Um, but there's a lot of other varieties. Of course, there's uh, butternut. Um, you know, I'm sure you've tried butternut soup before. That's great. Um, this yellow one back here is called spaghetti mm -hmm. um, because the inside texture is, is stringy, kind of like spaghetti yeah. noodles would be. This is actually called baby blue and this is um, just a regular Hubbard. So baby blue is like a smaller version of a Hubbard squash. So is it techni technically a Hubbard? It yes. just is a small, okay, that smaller, makes sense. Smaller, because this is... That's quite, massive. <laughs> yeah, uh, if you're feeding 30 or 40, this may work. Um, but it's a big squash. Um, gold nuggets, another favorite, great. Um, delicata. I uh, love that. My favorite, <laughs> we'll get back to that in just a minute. Of course, pumpkins and um, sweet meat squash. Uh -huh. So um, Why do you have those together though, it seems like? A lot of people come in and ask, I want to make pumpkin pie for sure. the holidays. Great. Um, so we have these pumpkins. They're called pie pumpkins. Um, and they're called that because they're about the size of what you would need to make a pumpkin pie. Okay. But um, I always tell people, if you're going to make pumpkin pie, it's best not to use pumpkin. And why is that? Why is Sounds that? kind of odd, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, pumpkin itself is very watery. And so when you're making the actual pie, it gets hard to get the right consistency. Okay. And a lot of times when you buy pumpkin in the stores, they're actually using a sweet meat squash. Really? Uh, has the same color, same um, flavor that the pumpkin would have, but it's not as watery. And is there a specific variety of sweet meat they tend to use or is it? it just a sweet meat squash. Okay, um, cool. That I'm aware of. And this is, um, so this is where I'll, I'll turn people towards to okay. do a sweet meat squash. And I see under your finger, it looks like there's quite a slash there. Is yes. That, what is that I would, for? Well, <laughs> I mean, one of the questions we get about squash is so hard. It, uh, they what are. Do you, how do you break it apart? How do you use it? And so um, it's good to have a knife. It's good to have a hammer. And um, generally, to crack that hard shell, um, you just lay your knife down there and right on the back spine of it, just give it a little tap, and you wow. can go right through the squash. They're that hard. Yes. Get into it. Wow. Yes. So um, hammer and knife ha good, help good. tremendously, huh? That's right. Um, but that's how you break them apart. Go ahead. Now I'm thinking, well, did you have something else to say there? <laughs> no, I'm done with that. But I wanted to come back to the delicata. Yes, indeed. I, I, this is, my kids would eat this every single night for dinner if they could. They love it. It's great. Why? Um, because it's much sweeter and has a better texture than I think any of the other squash. Yeah. Um, and it's so easy to cook. Um, instead of having to take a hammer and a knife like we did to the sweet meat, this you just want to put in the microwave. Really? Um, in fact, um, we're going to put up some recipes on our Facebook. We'll tie it over to Garden Time's Facebook. It's a very simple recipe. It takes about 10 minutes to cook this at night. Um, I know we have a great recipe for the pumpkin as well. Yeah. Um, so you want to go check that out. But you're essentially going to put it in the microwave, poke some holes in it when it gets soft, cut it in half, pull out the seeds, add a little bit of butter and brown sugar, and it's ready to go. Yeah, and I know that your mother eats those a lot too. I mean, your, your whole family loves delicata, and oh, they are delicious. They are, they're great. In fact, mom was out here earlier, and I think she even made us she one. Did. <laughs> that's um, why I love your mom. I know, she, she feeds you when you come by. She does. <laughs> that's why you came to see me, isn't it? It's true. Hungry. Yeah. So, and of course I'm gonna taste this, because but, it oh, really is wonderful. Oh man, and it tastes just like you want fall to taste. It's it, delicious. It's great. Uh, we um, we have lots of them in stock right now. Now's the perfect time of the year to come out and get some. Um, they're great. Okay, Brian, so this only takes a couple of minutes. In right. A, you know, but mm -hmm. I would think that these bigger varieties would take longer. They're going to take longer. And in fact, a lot of people take the knife and cube them up and make them into more manageable sizes. Yeah. But um, in order to get some really good recipes, you know, go to our website, go to your Facebook page. Um, we've got a lot of it there. And if and if all else, just come in and say hi. Yeah. We'd be happy to help you walk through those steps. Well, there you go. You can go to gardentime.tv. We'll click over to Bauman's uh, website. You can get a list of the great things that you can make out of these wonderful, wonderful squashes. It's always fun coming out here. Thanks a lot, Brian. Thank you.